Look in the comments section of any video featuring a turbo car and you'll usually find a thread of comments arguing over what noise it made and how badly they're destroying their turbo. So here's a quick guide on what's what with turbo sounds. Right, here's the main offender, the supposed compressor surge that damages turbos. When you're done having fun with boost, you let go of the throttle, the throttle plate closes and air can't go into the engine anymore. However, it takes a second for the turbo to get the memo, so it's still sending pressurized air along the system briefly. This air is trapped between the throttle plate and the turbo, so many people install a blower valve or recirculation valve that will release this excess pressure from the system. Many people on the internet will tell you that if you don't run one of these devices, it causes damaging compressor surge, as the air has no choice but to go back the way it came through the turbo, causing the turbine to spin backwards, wearing out the shaft and breaking the turbo. Now half of this is actually correct. With no valve for the air to leave through, the massive difference between pressure and airflow in the pipes means the air will go back through the turbo, but it will not spin the turbine back and forth. You have to understand that a turbo's turbine is spinning between 80 and 200,000 RPM. It cannot just stop or reverse its spin instantly. It will merely slow down the turbine by causing stall. Couple this to the fact that with the throttle closed, air is no longer being forced through the turbo, allowing the turbine to spin freely with no load, meaning that changing the speed of it will not damage it. This means that as the air pulses back through the turbine, the air is chopped up, making the flutter noise. This is actually known as closed throttle compressor surge, but many people confuse it with its ugly brother, open throttle compressor surge. If you're hearing the fluttering while your throttle is open, then you have a problem. If the throttle plate is still open and the turbo is trying to push more air in that the engine can't take, excess air tries to force its way back through the turbine, putting immense pressure and stress on the bearings that are now trying to push air forward and backwards at the same time. Now many will say that you could avoid this by installing a blow-off valve, but a blow-off valve does not open at wide open throttle, so it will do nothing in this case. So to recap, flutter when off boost, no problem. Flutter during boost, grab your tools because you're replacing a turbo. So now you know the difference between the two, you can correct the 11 year old's arguments in every comment section you come across.